Hello and welcome to Movie World, where this evening we're delighted to be able to screen for you an extraordinary and prize-winning Inuktitut language film, Atanarjet, The Fast Runner. This movie was shot up here in the eastern Canadian Arctic, in this village, Iglulik, where temperatures in winter fall as low as minus 50 degrees, where the sea freezes over, and when the sun comes out, there's only a few weak hours before it goes away again. So it's remarkable that here in isolated Iglulik, there's this place, the thriving Isuma Productions, telling stories for audiences in the Inuit Arctic. Tonight's feature, Atanarjit, has won prizes from the most prestigious film festivals in the world. The director of Atanarjit is Zach Kunuk, and after snacking with his crew on fresh and frozen Arctic char fish, better than pita I had. Zach explained that Atanarjit is based on a 1,000 year old legend of evil coming to town. We all grew up with this story. Uh, you can actually go to places where this story happens. We're passing this story on from oral history to a motion picture film. And we wanted to do it for our Inuit audience because there was not too many films about Inuit. We had to do it right. The dialogue is right, the costume is right. What research we did was we went back to the earliest known records uh, of this island. We saw the sketches of how Inuit uh, dressed, and when we hired seven women to sew, their method of measuring was still all technology. I mean, they were using strings to measure our actors. The cinematographer on Atanarjit is New Yorker Norman Cohn. He says that working on an Inuit movie is totally different from working in Hollywood. You make films the way you go seal hunting, which is you get a bunch of people together, they cooperate because you can't get a seal by yourself. Somebody catches it, but it doesn't matter who. You all share it and take the meat home. There are environmental limits to what you can do in the Arctic. If you uh, shoot anywhere from, let's say, the 1st of April to uh, 15th of December, your equipment will work fine. There will be times when you're really cold and the equipment's really cold because it can be minus 30. When it's colder than minus 30, things don't work. Cables snap because, like dry spaghetti. Uh, cameras freeze. So our parameters are fixed. We have to make it the way it is. So our guy is really running on the ice. He's really naked. He falls in the real water. And yes, he's really cold. And we're running along with him because that's the only way to do it. Working with the Arctic for cinematographer Norman Cohn also involved working around an intricate plot. The storyline is about rivalry over women and lust and family betrayal. In the film, Atanarjit's sex in the tent with one of his wives is followed by his brother's murder. And this epic tale is crafted with great attention to historical detail. Many of the women characters, for example, wear facial tattoos. Tattoo was just left when Christianity came. And when we're doing a film way past Christianity, of course, every woman will have tattoos. It was a way of life. And they were tattooed when they were children. They had to be tattooed before they got to the age of 12. And perhaps this aspect of the movie, its depiction of pre-Christian life, is the most important for director Zach Canuck. He believes that Christianity has been destructive for his people and for their culture. I came to this community in 1966 when it was split in half. Catholics, Anglicans. There's a borderline. Catholics live on that side and the Anglicans live on that side. When Christianity came, they got divided. When Christianity came, dancing and storytelling was almost banned. How could you preach a burning bush to a culture 
that has never seen trees. I don't know that is to wake you up, just to show Inuit where their roots come from. This is how it was. Upa. Upa is a Zach Canuck stirring things up here in Iglulik, and so as the sun goes down without further ado, here is Atanajat, the fast runner. <laughs> 